I was actually inspired by August Bradley, who's a YouTuber, like a uh, does a lot of stuff on Notion, and he does something called uh, like your uh, it's an alignment zone, where you kind of ask yourself some pretty deep questions, uh, things such as who are you happiest spending the most time with, uh, in what locations were you most happy, uh, what things make you most happy, what things make you sad, what's causing you stress, and you end up getting kind of answers. It's they're kind of um, thought provoking questions, let's say, uh, which really make you kind of analyze your life and what are the things that make you happy what make you unhappy like for some people their their goal is going to be that they want to be driving around in a ferrari or, or buy a lamborghini uh, or whatever it may be and some people's goals are going to be completely they've got no interest in a lamborghini so you really need to sit down and analyze it for yourself and, and write it out um and I, I'll, I'll find a link for the video actually now that I've referenced it just so that people can find it and go through it. But the first step is to really plan, not even to plan, sorry, to understand what it is that you want out of your life. What are your goals? What is going to make you happy? What would you like to achieve? Um, you can't achieve everything at the same time. You need to really set out one goal at a time. So start off by working out where is it that, that you want to be uh, in, in the next 12 months which is a very, very reasonable frame of time. And then to kind of break it down from there is, is to plan, to plan out what is it that is going to get, to get you there. So if your goal is to have $100,000 per month in income, your goal really needs to be on generating a cash flow business. And if you want to be there in 12 months, you need to be there as fast as possible. Uh, you need to... And so I will kind of break it down into, into step by step. So uh, just to go into a bit more detail about this every single year i will do a yearly review every quarter i will do a quarterly review to kind of uh, so every year i'm planning out my goals for the next 12 months what is it that i want to achieve this year what it can be anything from what are my financial goals my health goals goals for my family or for like um people around me for my girlfriend for like whatever it is for my relationships um and so for me at the currently it's about acquiring properties um in multiple different countries one issue that you do have when you're generating a lot of cash flow particularly in this uh in the current market is um you sit on a lot of money in in a bank account and you you need places to to deploy that capital so it may sound very funny to, to some people i have a, a genuine issue of that um I need places to deploy capital, which is a, a primary focus for me at the moment, acquiring properties um, across the globe. So the next point from that is going to be, how do I break that down into projects? How do, what projects need to be completed over the next 12 months in order for me to get closer and closer to achieving those goals? And then that needs to be broken down into tasks that you are completing on a day-to-day -day basis, um, and so you're literally breaking down a very, very long journey, your 12 month goal into projects that are going to be completed over the weeks and over the months of any given year. And then that is broken down into tasks, which are small tasks uh, that you complete on a, on a day to day basis. And what you will find and ends up happening, at least this is what I find, is I will then go on and do like my monthly reviews and my quarterly reviews. And I just tick off goals and things that I've achieved, my objectives, one at a time. And by the end of the year, when you come back to look at look at your list of these were the, the yearly goals that I set out for, for my year, you realize that you've ticked off most of them. And in a lot of cases, they're goals that seem so, so far off, so in the distant future. A few years ago, I wrote out a goal that I wanted to be making six figures per month, which just sounds absolutely obscene. And... Uh, yeah, like here I am. These things are all all completely uh, achievable, and it's also part of the purpose of this YouTube channel. I don't want to call it a motivational YouTube channel, but I would like to think of it as providing some type of like inspiration, of showing people what is possible. Like the amount of people that I've inspired to create like an OnlyFans agency, um, which is a fantastic cash flow generating business. There's going to be over a thousand people who have got into the OnlyFans business because of the videos I put out. And the same applies to any other form of like showing what I'm working on, showing what types of things are capable. And hopefully that leads on to inspiration for other people uh, that believe, okay, I can, 
if he can do it, why can't I? Which is exactly how I started out. If this person can do it, why can't I? 